Should I put myself in the video? No. no. First notice their impeccable safety gear. Goggles. Next, we have aprons. Proper shoes. And of course, gloves. First, we gotta pop the bottle off. <laughs> Bottle's pop. Wait, let's get this on film. Next, you turn your air on. Nitrogen gas. Then, you add the gas to the jar. <laughs> Bottle. <laughs> The nitrogen gas introduces a lot of cold temperature. <laughs> you want to heat up the vial, therefore allowing it to evaporate faster. So, hold it like yay. So guys, why is heat necessary for this? The science, man. Now you can see the heat going from my hand to the vial. As you can see, the solvent is almost completely evaporated. The residue that is forming on the inside of the vial is the leftover solute. We know that the solvent has completed its evaporation when the vial begins to warm up back against the room temperature. <laughs> Now, turn off the gas. That's that's on more. Now you have a vial with your evaporated solvent, leaving just your solute. Using we can use this solute to perform IR <laughs> <laughs> IR analysis and possibly also look at melting points and other such fun things. Who are you? This is James Paolo. This is Dylan, and I'm Swati. Bam! Time magazine, sexy as Marilyn.